Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Welcome back. So we're still looking at our Apollonian problems, and we, we've gone a step up from our point, point, point problem, finding a circle through three general points in the plane. And now what have we got here? Well, we've got point, point, line. So this is the next most challenging case. We got our three points here. And uh, our construction is as follows. Take the two points, and you're going to want to uh, create the, the line going through them. Okay. Now, in general, the line going through them will always intersect. I will talk briefly at the end about what happens when this line doesn't intersect the other line. But uh, in general, you'll get this intersection point. So now this intersection point and the other two points, well, they, they lie on the same line. One of the, the two given points will be in the middle. Okay. Uh, and so the, take the other point and we're going to construct a circle as follows. So we'll get the, the midpoint of our two end points, our two further out points. And we get a circle here. Okay. So there's our circle, and uh, we've got uh, one of the given points, one of our pink points, lies inside this circle. What we're going to do is we are going to draw a perpendicular line through uh, the, the extra pink point, and it's going to intersect the circle. Two places. Doesn't matter which two of these points we use, but then we use one of those two intersection points along with the intersection point that we first created. Right. And we draw a circle through there. And now this circle, and uh, we're going to get rid of some of the other stuff just because our diagram is getting a little cluttered. This circle here intersects our given line at two points. Okay. These two points are actually the points of tangency to the circle that's through these two given pink points and tangent to our pink line. Okay. So this means that we, we can choose either one of these points and with the other two points, get a circle, and that circle will be tangent to this line. That means there's two solutions in general. So let's see, what have we got here? Uh, we won't. Uh, we'll use a circle through three points. We talked about how to do this last time. Uh, angle, or not angle bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors is what you would need to to, to do. But we're just going to take it for for granted as a given construction. Unfortunately, GeoGebra does have a tool for it. And take a look here. We chose one of the tangent points, circle going through that point, and the other two given points, the points that we were given in the problem. We get ourselves a circle that's tangent to the line. And we can do the same thing with this other point down here. We get quite a big circle, but you'll see it passes through those two pink points and is tangent to the pink line. So here are the two solutions to the general situation, the general problem of point, point, line. Okay, so uh, we we did make uh, two assumptions that I can note here uh, in our construction. First of all, we, we assumed that there would be an intersection point between our pink line and the line going through our pink points. What happens if, uh, if it happens to be parallel? We can see that right here. That uh, if they happen to, if our two uh, if the line between our two pink points happens to run parallel to our pink line, what are we to do? Well, we can't get that intersection point that we made such great use of. Okay, that's one assumption, and I'll deal with that in a moment. The other assumption is once we had that intersection point, we assumed that one of these pink points was in the middle of the other two. Now, that wouldn't happen. I'll just redraw the line. So we get this intersection point here. That wouldn't happen. I mean, we'd still get the intersection, but that wouldn't. It wouldn't. Uh, one of the pink points wouldn't be in between the other two, if the two points were on either side of the line. Now, there's nothing you can do if our two pink points are separated by the uh, pink line. No circle going through either of those will just be tangent to the line. It'll have to intersect the line in two different places. 
Okay. But uh, in general, you will get the intersection, and in general, one of these pink points will uh, lie in between the intersection point and the other pink point. And then we get our two circles here. Okay. So, with that out of the way, let's just briefly talk. I'm not going to try and talk about a whole lot of exceptional cases in the future, but let's, let's just briefly talk about what happens when... Uh, We get those two points, and they, uh, the line between them is parallel to this given line. So, uh, parallel line tool. There we go. So these are our, cho our, our given pink points, and we're restarting the problem, but oh no. When we, when we start the problem again, draw the line in between, we realize, oh, they're parallel. They're not going to intersect. What are we to do? Well, we can still get a circle going through these points and tangent to this line. We just, we're only going to get the one. Okay. And uh, what do we need to do? Uh, any, any circle that passes through these two points will have to lie on the perpendicular bisector here. Okay. That's true of any circle passing through these two points. Okay, and I can show you that. You know, take take just any point here, runs through these two. That's uh, and then you know, there's one, and we can choose another point. There's two. So we're going to use this information, and the fact that uh, the lines are parallel sort of constrains the problem, and we only get one. Uh, one circle that's tangent to the line and goes through the points. And the point of tangency to the line will have to be uh, the line, uh, the, the intersection with the perpendicular bisector and the line. So now if I take these three points and draw the circle through them, I get my tangents circle. There we go. We'll just hide our work there. And this works when the two line the when the uh, points are run parallel to the given line okay but that's an exceptional case in general they will the line will intersect with the given pink line and you'll be off to the races okay so that's uh, that's a nice little extra case uh, in the next video I think we're going to do uh, point line line. I think that's what I have lined up. So I will see you guys for that one in the next video. Thanks for watching.